Salt lovers rejoice, your day has finally come. Hey guys, Tara here for D News, and if you know me, then you know nothing pleases me more than justifying my poor eating habits. And today I get to do just that. A new study published in the American Journal of Hypertension found that Americans actually do consume a healthy amount of salt, despite exceeding the average daily recommendation from the Center for Disease Control and Prevention. To be clear, this is a review article, meaning the authors didn't actually perform their own study. Instead, they analyzed 25 previous studies with data from nearly 270 75,000 subjects and found a link between low levels of salt consumption and greater risk of death. Previously, it was assumed that salt consumption worked on kind of a spectrum where the more salt you consume, the more harmful it is. But now it appears that spectrum is actually double-sided, meaning too little salt can actually be as harmful as too much. Current CDC guidelines recommend American adults under age 50 consume no more than 2,300 milligrams of sodium per day to mitigate the risk of high blood pressure, heart disease, and stroke. But according to to the new study, those recommendations are actually too low. The safest range, they say, is actually between 2,645 milligrams and 4,945 milligrams of salt per day, which is roughly on par with the worldwide average. And people whose salt consumption fell outside of that range had an increased likelihood of death. Now, before you go shotgunning a bag of pretzel salt, which I don't recommend from personal experience of a friend of mine, remember that 80% of the salt we consume as Americans comes from processed foods. So as long as you're making the majority of your meals at home with fresh ingredients, there's a good chance your salt intake is fine as is. Just try to stay away from these. There is no need for this whatsoever. In the meantime, the CDC continues to stand by their recommendation of 2,300 milligrams per day, issuing a statement that says reducing salt intake to the level currently recommended would prevent tens of thousands of heart attacks and strokes annually. You know what? For a Big Mac, I'm willing to risk it. There's just something about that secret sauce. What about you? Are you on board with the CDC's anti-salt agenda, or do you think it even matters? Let us know in the comments down below, and be sure to subscribe to D News for more great videos justifying your bad habits.